there's a new up-and-coming Omaha area band. Tom McCauley, Jason, Brandon, Caitlin, Tim, and Django. Together, they make up the answer team. Although they haven't always been playing together, the concept for the band came about years ago. Brandon and I met when we were seniors in high school, and we played a lot of angular, note-heavy, hardcore music, kind of like at the drive-in a little bit with uh, some screaming and lots of abrupt shifts in time signature and, and noise and everything. And uh, we played some shows, kind of petered out, but uh, in college, I started writing these songs on my acoustic guitar that had this really weird tuning, and they were kind of poppier than what we were used to, and uh, he and I got together, and uh, it took us a couple years, but we finally have our lineup where we want it, Agreed. and uh, <clears throat> it's a little bit, it's, it's still kind of heavy and punk influenced, but it's also catchy and dancey in parts and atmospheric and approachable, and approachable cinematic be a good word to describe it. One thing that sets the answer team apart from many other area bands is their unique incorporation of the violin. Oh, I was actually in Boston at Berkeley and then um, I was doing a lot of touring with Trans-Siberian Orchestra and Mannheim Steamroller and that was really cool but the traveling back and forth from Boston to Nebraska and then doing like the roundabouts and everything Violinist Caitlin Filippini has a very well-established resume in her very young career. I was uh, 15 or 14 with Rod Stewart, and then I went to Josh Groban, played with Michael Buble, Gladys Knight, uh, Mary J. Blige. I was in a music video for a pianist that was really cool, he's local, and I did The Letterman, Pam Tillis, trans and Orchestra most of the time, and then Mannheim Steamroller, are, they're just amazing. They basically raised me. They're great. When we started recording our EP last summer, um, we didn't have a vi violin player, but Brandon knew her, and he brought her in, and she'd written, some, written a part, and she played it, and it was just like, I mean, we had to pick our jaws up off the carpet, because it was amazing. And for the song Summer in the Rain, which is, that was the first song that we had together for this band way back when I was like 18. Um, and uh, she added this amazing part over it and really seemed to bring an element out of the music that was incredible and that I'd never, I'd never heard before. For more on The Answer Team, visit their website, theanswerteam.net. For Inside Art, I'm Daniel Wolf.